and welcome back to my channel i hope you're well today i'm doing a spring clean and i thought i'd bring you along with me and it could motivate you to get cleaning too so you can put me on alongside you as you clean and we can do it together and i can chat away and keep you motivated. So I've started off with some Dettol multi-purpose anti-back wipes. Probably not the most economic wipes to use, as in I'm just wasting loads of wipes, but they just do the job. It keeps it topped up, and I just literally wipe down the sides, take everything off, and yeah, just give it all a good, good wipe. And then I'm going to use um some window and mirror spray and i'm gonna just i think that's what you call it and i'm just gonna wipe down the television where Alyssa has her hands everywhere there's lots of hand marks so i'm um, yeah i'm just going to clive the the tv and the windows a good good clean um, I love my Juliet balcony. This is just like the best. I love it. It's my like little people, people watching place. I sit in my throne and I just watch the world go by. Um, I'm also going to wipe down the sort of like, is it the step? Because um, it just gets really dusty. Um, there, I have actually noticed the flat does get really, really dusty. I'm also going to put on a lovely incense i love them i feel like it really like just cleans cleans and purifies the air in the flat makes it smell nice and yeah just really like resets it i haven't put on one for ages actually so yeah i've just put that on and it's going to make the flat smell super nice i'm also going to hoover i try and hoover like i don't know <laughs> three times a week i don't know do people hoover more i'm not sure but i hoover yeah three times a week um i really need to empty it this is a dyson hoover i got this when i moved in and it's such a good good hoover it really picks up everything um i've also realized guys i'm wearing a dress to clean i mean who wears a dress to clean i wear a dress to clean i mean if you can't wear a dress cleaning when can you wear a dress <laughs> so i have tried and cut it out so you do not see any bum i've not me flashing the bum as you can see i've got my big concentrating face on as i power around this floor because Alyssa likes to eat her snacks in the my throne or our throne should i say and they just get on the floor like everywhere so yeah oh and now i'm going to pump up the cushions i don't really sit on this sofa in fact someone on my instagram mentioned to me the other day they were like oh you're sitting on your other sofa yeah i just never sit on them so yeah i've pumped up the cushions and now i'm going to hoover the rest of the lounge and as you can see there's my dining room table i really need to make the most of my dining room table in fact my friend is coming around to stay for a night so maybe we could cook a nice meal and sit at the dining room table i just don't <sighs> I got, I'm glad I got a dining room table. Obviously, I was going to get a dining room table, but I just don't sit there as much. Um, because I'm the work, I think because I got in such a habit of eating on my lap because I didn't have a dining room table for ages. Um, now, yeah, I just now I just sit on my lap, so I need to make the most of sitting at my dining room table. But yeah, I love the um, the mat for that. And now we're on to my bedroom, so I'm going to change. I try and change my bed sheets at once a week. So I'm going to take off all the sheets and change them up. I don't know why. I used to do two weekly, but I've got into the habit of changing my bed sheets um, once a week. It is a bit of an effort. It's a job I hate doing. I don't know if it's because I'm short that I really struggle with it. Um, but yeah, I just also I went for white, plain white when I moved into the flat. Um, so I've got two like two lots of sheets that I just keep swapping over how I dry them <sighs> I mean in a flat I don't have a garden so I just when I dry the sheets I just literally put them over the doors probably not the best way but it does the job it my flat's actually quite warm so everything kind of dries quite quickly and I'm really lucky because I have a little like sneaky uh, airing cupboard that's got a radiator in it so it's perfect for the winter um where I can literally put all my clothes in there to dry so and I so I don't have to have them out on like an era and I I mean with a child I do like a wash once a week um, once a week 
once a week, once a day. I do a wash once a day just to keep on top of things so they don't build up so I can do little washes and things can just dry quickly. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm actually really struggling to put the sheets on. Um, I got a bit in a bit of a muddle. <laughs> I just, I don't know why guys, but I just really struggle with changing the sheets. Um, yep, yeah, there I am getting in a bit of a muddle. <laughs> um, but I love my bedroom also. This is, I just, I really find it such a relaxing room. Like I find it so zen. I just feel it's a really clean, like clear, like light and airy, clear, light and airy. Um, I just really, really, really like it. And yeah, I actually had that dressing table there. That is from Dunelm, but from years ago. I used to have it when I was a teenager. So we up, not upcycled it, but just brought it back out again. And then the, the, the like the dressing um, table was upcycled. So my mum painted it and like did her magic with that. And we put some new like um, handles on and everything so yeah there is i've finally managed to put the sheets <laughs> i finally managed it um actually you can see i've got that one pink flower just hanging out that Alyssa bought me that i think for mother's day and actually i do need to um buy myself some flowers if you saw my last video i um spoke about dating yourself and buying yourself some flowers so yeah i just need to um buy myself some flowers to put in there because that flower on its own looks quite quite lonely um yeah so nearly finished with the bed sheets also i've got um a load of candles on there which i really need to sort out so a load of candles on my desk on my like side unit that i need to clear out because at the moment i don't eat, never light them i've got a real nice habit of lighting candles um but i haven't lit a candle in ages i think i need to get some new ones um and my mum's got me one which you'll see later when we come to the kitchen it's such a nice smell like it's so nice i can't even i can't even, i don't even know what the smell is called but it's so so nice so right the bed has been done um i'm actually coming over now to clear off my side unit and like wipe that all down i've got a mirror here a standing mirror which i still need to put up on the wall <laughs> it hasn't been put up on the wall yet and i've been in like eight months um so i've just wiped that down and also this mirror so they don't get marks on them and then i feel like yep yeah, i am now going to use more wipes and i'm gonna just um, clean down my side where my hair I don't know about anyone else's hair, but my hair falls out so easily when I brush it. So they get so nice, there's so much hair over there on my um, dressing table. So I have to kind of wipe that down every couple of days. Um, I don't always use wipes because I knew that's not very good for the environment, just using those of wipes. I need to find a better way than just using those of wipes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to clear down my dressing table move everything about i feel like my dressing table is a little bit cluttered and i feel like maybe i could do with getting rid like i said getting rid of some of those candles and making it a little less cluttered that yellow thing is um some affirmations that my ta got me my teaching assistant and it's really sweet and i'm trying to change them up um every sort of couple of days so i have a different affirmation to read so these are my like blinds like slatted blinds um i think yeah blinds and I love them. They just make me feel like I'm in France or Paris or something. They're just really good. They're really good blackouts. So when you, um, shutters, not shut, they're shut called shutters, guys, aren't they? Shutters. And they just, yeah, they are just, I just love them. And like I said, they're really good blackouts. So when you go to bed, I can obviously shut them and doesn't let any light in because I've actually got a um, street lamp outside my bedroom so i need a blackout basically i kind of always wanted to sleep with the windows like light curtains open so i get woken up to natural light but i just can't do that with a street light right outside my room because that's not going to work is it so i've lit in another incense into my bedroom i've got one in the bedroom one in my lounge and yeah oh i've just put a wash on you might have noticed because i do like to set a wash for the night before so i set a wash put a timer on so that i don't 
forget to put one on because sometimes in the mornings I'm so busy so that way I've just um, set a wash all ready to go for the morning and now I'm hoovering my lounge. The best thing about the flat though is I haven't got much floor to hoover so it doesn't take me long to like hoover the floor. Um, we didn't, I didn't actually have to change carpets when I moved in. I was so lucky. The carpets were in really good condition, but we just painted the, all this, like painted basically the whole flat and put some different light lighting in. So it just makes it look really light and airy. Um, so yeah, I'm hovering everything. Now onto the bathroom. Um, I'm using that mirror spray to just wipe down my, what do you call it? Like, shower guard shower guard um i keep that nice and clean because i think it just they can get really grimy and dirty can't they um i have to be careful though because if i spray it sometimes it's on the floor and it gets a bit slippy um and then i've got a mirror here on the wall so i'm just going to clean that because i clean my teeth and i don't know about anyone else but when you clean your teeth it just splashes back <laughs> um and gets loads of like toothpaste on it maybe i'm just a messy um teeth brusher um and then i'm going to just um clean up the toilet i obviously have to do that every couple of days anyway but put some i love the pine smell of the um toilet cleaner i really like the pine smell and now i'm just cleaning my the bath like i said because i keep on top of it it doesn't get too bad it doesn't take me too long um i use a viacal for like the the taps and um, just to get rid of all the grime and like around the um, plug area um but <sighs> Alyssa has the, these bath crayons so I actually do have to sort of scrub it every sort of couple of days um because they just get everywhere but yeah I'm, I'm sorry if you can it's not much of an interesting view but yeah I'm just now um giving it a good scrub and it is a really quick job like it doesn't take me long at all to give it a good scrub because like I say I guess it's just because it's just me and Alyssa there's not like loads of us so it and obviously Alyssa is with her dad 50% of the time so it doesn't take it I, it does keep quite clean the flat and I just like to keep on um top of it and she to be fair she doesn't have many toys out Alyssa just loves to bring in Barbies into the bath so they end up drying around the bath and then when they're dry I just put them back into her bedroom um so that's probably why but I actually do want to get one of those like stick on like nets that you put all your toys in so she can keep some bar bath toys in the bath as well um so just to make a bit bath times a bit more fun because she sometimes she gives you phases like sometimes she loves a bath sometimes she doesn't <laughs> um right now she doesn't like a bath and she just wants a shower oh yeah i'm gonna put some of my uh, method um shower spray on as well it's such a nice scent i got a, this plant in my bathroom i don't really know what i'm doing with it it's an aloe vera plant and it's looking a bit wild i'm not very good at keeping plants alive um and i'm but I know that you're supposed to have an are you supposed to have an aloe vera plant in your bathroom? I don't know, but I've got one in there and trying to keep it alive basically. Um, now I'm just going to clean the sides again. I do this quite often so they don't get too bad. Um, I always keep my window slightly ajar just to keep the air circulating for when I shower. But um, I do wash my hair twice a week. This is a bit off topic, but I wash my hair twice a week. So I guess my showers most time of the time are quite quick. Um, so that's probably why um, it's still feeling quite fresh in my bath. And like I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to paint it um, and keep it all like clean and stuff. But no, it's not too bad. So yeah, I'm just going to clean up all the sides. Those little like pl white plants, well, white potted plants, they're all fake and they're from Ikea. I got given those as a moving in gift and I quite like them. And then there's a spider plant that I got given from, again, from Ikea. Um, managing to keep that one alive though. So that's good, isn't it? And yeah, just cleaning around the sink now using the Viacal and the bathroom flash. Um, yeah, the sink does get quite, I have to do, like I said to you the other 
um, like I said to you the other day, like I said to you just a minute ago, I have to do the sink like like every other day because with a child, it just gets a bit dirty. Um, and Liz is finally getting tall enough actually to wash her hands without her step. So obviously she takes her time, gets soap everywhere. So yeah, I have to just keep on top of the sink. Um, I really like the Viacal though. It really does get rid of all like the watermarks and um yeah it just makes it um the taps come up super shiny and these are my minky well i think mrs hinch calls them minky doesn't she but the minky um sponges and i think they're just great for all purposes i have one different one for kitchen and bathroom and i always do the bath and um, the toilet last because obviously hygiene um so i i do the t the um toilet last and then what I do is I actually soak the minkies in with a like a washing tab um overnight just to like to clean them basically I don't know if that's the way but that's how I do it probably again not very economic using a washing tab but that's how I clean them and so yeah I just always clean the toilet last because that way I don't have to touch any of the other things with the toilet the the sponge i've just used to wash the toilet with so yeah toilet is looking nice and clean and now i'm going to again using wipes please i right i don't have a mop because i haven't got much hard floor um and i don't feel like i would use the mop that often so again i just use wipes to quick give it a quick wipe i obviously hoover like every other day anyway but um it does get a bit dirty so just wiping around all the toilets and stuff moving there's my washing bin i love that washing bin i think that was from dunelm and um, really good size washing bin right onto the kitchen so i'm just going to put away all my washing up um from like the morning that is my supersonic speedy um, blender i just love that supersonic blender it's the best um, it's from Amazon. I think it was forty pounds, but it literally is great for my smoothies. And then this is all her, like Alyssa's stuff. Um, she has like multiple balls for her breakfast, but still doesn't eat anything. Alyssa isn't a massive breakfast eater, and um, she will want everything, but then doesn't eat anything. <laughs> so that's why she has multiple balls. Now this is my new water bottle. It is one of those chili bottles, and I just love it. Oh, I know. Also, I've just realised I have my list there, and I've just realised I need to write my refills on it. Um, so basically, I have a pen there, so whenever I think of something, I write it on my shopping list straight away, so I don't forget it. Um, because if I don't don't write it down, I will forget it. So I always have my shopping list there. And I just literally use the Sainsbury's bleach cleaner to clean um, my sink down and the kitchen, basically. Um, I haven't really seen any other kitchen ones. I normally go for things that are on offer, to be honest. Um, and this is that kitchen cleaner has lasted me ages. Um, it is starting to run out, though, so I need, will need to purchase another one. Um, so let me know if you have any good kitchen cleaners um, that you use. This sink, I have to say, I have to record record it. I have to wash it um, and clean it on it quite often because it does get quite like water stained. Um, and obviously it's hygienic to clean it. <laughs> um, um, but I always put a bit of Viacel on it every other day just to um, keep it nice and clean. And then I use the um, drainer, it was just from, again, from Danelle, it's a silver drainer. Again, I just normally clean that at the bottom of that a little bit. Um, but I, yeah, and I, it does, the sink actually does come up quite shiny. The people who lived in this flat before uh, kept it in such good condition. Um, and so I've just kept on top, of, well, tried to keep on top of that with a child. Um, and I feel like when you just keep on top of things, do little and often, it just keeps it looking really nice. The view from the window looks really nice, doesn't it? Um, so I look onto, I guess, some fields. Um, but behind me is an Audi. And um, the train line is right by my house. So, <laughs> um, yeah, but it looks really scenic, actually, from here. Um, there's my candle that I was talking about earlier on there. The grey one is so nice. I think it's a barley i'd have to find out what that one is um 
And we're also really old school and have a telephone. I mean, who has a telephone, home telephone these days? But I don't actually, it's not actually working. It's actually turned off. So here is all Alyssa's um, water bottle, her multiple water bottles, because she can never decide which one she wants. And I just clean those, obviously, because she's had them during the day. Um, and I'm just going to clean those up. Now I'm going to basically clean out all the side over. As you can see, with my Alexa, I've got an Alexa in my bedroom and in my kitchen. Um, basically, I don't know why I put an Alexa in my kitchen. I put Alexa in my kitchen because um, sometimes it's nice to ha have something on to listen to while I'm cooking and everything. And if I was having to put it in my bedroom, I was having to put the volume up really loud and I was conscious of my neighbours. So I got one in my um, kitchen too. So you can sync them as well. So I've just got a nice podcast on I'm listening to as I clean all the sides down, move everything out. Um, again, like I said, because I keep on top of it, it's not that bad. Um, I have all those jars with all my um, like pastas and rices and um, all the things that I put basically in my cooking daily. I think it's got like um, things that I put in my smoothies as well in those jars, which I'm always and forever having to refill. And now I'm just cleaning da oh, down my windowsill. Um, I've got another plant there, which I actually, this plant I have actually managed to keep alive. <laughs> so um, I got that as a gift when I moved in. And then here are my um, little, like, the lids off my yogurts. And you can actually, um, yokens, yokin tokens, and they, um, you can enter them in using a barcode and then you can go into win prizes and stuff so basically i put them on the windowsill and then when i've got loads of them i um bank them <laughs> that's why they're there i always get to about 10 and i'm like i really need to bank these codes now because they're just getting messy on my on my windowsill so gonna clean the rest of the kitchen um and then I'm going to do the oven at top. I keep looking back at you, it's really funny. And then, yeah, I don't, you see, with my oven, I'm very um, lucky in that I get it cleaned um, twice a year. So I don't actually ever have to clean my oven because I, I would hate to clean an oven. Like I wouldn't even know where to start with cleaning an oven. Um, what I do do though is if anything spills I like wipe it off straight away so then it does actually keep quite clean um those knives though I've just moved are super super sharp um I got them as a gift for when moving in um and they are super super sharp like I cut my finger once when I was cutting butternut squash using them and owie yeah so they are super super sharp but they're magnetic on a magnetic board which is quite nice um yeah, so just cleaning again. It's not too bad because um, I think I cleaned it the other day. But as I've got a fan round, I just thought I'd top it all up so it makes it look nice. I'm coming to the end of the cleaning now. I hope this has motivated you for a good speed clean. When I clean, I like to have someone to listen to. So hopefully I've brought you some kind of entertainment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again soon for another video.